Building is closed on December 4th, 2018. My last call said unless we gapped and took out this high early, lower prices should print. I said the pattern usually is an all-day rally, but if it fails, it fails by going down in a straight line, something like this. We do get to cross a few of our numbers off the list. We still have one more. I don't think it's long for this world, but don't expect to see it when the market reopens on Thursday. You never know. Um, Thursday's pattern, I believe, is one with the early low. Tends to be an all-day rally. Close near the high. And if it isn't a positive day, tends to drop early, usually in the first one to two hours. If you don't have a big drop then, usually you're not going to end in the red. During the day, MJT gave a sell signal here and a sell signal here. It also gave a few signals to buy. It gave a page 120 buy signal when the market was collapsing. It said at some point you'd have a strong rally, and that's enough to satisfy the prediction. There was an optional target that we go over the dash line, which we did. There's also an optional target we go over this line. Optional targets don't have to print. If it doesn't print by Thursday's close, we forget about that one, and that's just not going to happen. There was also something I found out after I wrote the book, which is if the close of this bar can't break out of the range of this one, that the drop which the signal called for is a false move and that prices will retrace, uh, which they did. So the system just gives price targets. I gave a price target for lower prices and a price target that they wouldn't stick. I was also hoping that today's action would clarify the long-term picture. I think it did. I think that... Um, I was right all along that this is the end of wave five and the high for this bull market's in. I think so because this is action typical of a third wave. Also because um, big moves like this, big whipsaws, are very typical of markets which have hit their highs. I think it's also just a matter of time till we get a death cross. I think that the wave count I showed yesterday is my preferred count for now, which means we're in a third wave down based on the magnitude of wave one. This one should be a doozy, but it doesn't mean we have to drop tomorrow. This is a pattern which leads to lower prices when it doesn't close near the high. We don't take out this high early, which won't happen. So we should see lower prices tomorrow. That doesn't mean we have to open lower, and it doesn't mean we have to close lower. We have a wall into the close. Very often, that will be followed by gapping up. We also have a drop to, but not through, support. Don't forget, this was a very strong rally. We're close to a standard 61.8% retracement. Should be in the middle 2690s. This is also a FIB support level from the whole drop here, also in the 2690s. So if we get the gap up, we could drop into the 2690s and then rally throughout the rest of the day. What makes such a scenario plausible as you can count, the, this is leading, this stands for leading diagonal triangle. You can count a clear wave of clear five waves down from the high with good, fib rate, good Fibonacci relationship between five and one. Now, as I say, when you're in this point in the pattern, you have to keep your erasers handy. But if we're going to drop down a straight line to resistance, usually you gap under, I mean support. Usually you get up under support or the support wins. So scenario one is we get up under this price target, and I can't say it's impossible. We'll know what the opening if that happens, but if we don't, 
I think the most likely thing is we gap up, drop down, undercut these lows, and then recover and go up. I think at this point you might be picking up pennies in front of a steamroller because if that's one, five waves down, you should get your ABC up. And then you're going to have wave three down of multiple degree, which should be a real, real doozy. And it wouldn't surprise me if it came as early as next week. And that's today's call.